start with knee-high socks, $2.50 from Target. The heel of the sock is going to be where the top of your knuckles are. The toe is going to be the nose or the inside of the mouth. I have now pinned the end of the sock to the length I need for my own fingers to fit to the edge of the mouth. I cut off the toe beneath the pinned line. I sewed a piece of black velour fabric in the shape that was cut off the toe of the sock to replace it so that this will be turned inside out for the mouth. Sew the black toe on the end and there you have your working mouth. Hello. I'm going to have ears. So I draw the ears on paper first and then cut them out. I take the fleece that I want to use and I fold it in half with the good fuzzy side out. I take my cut out ear template pattern and I lay it on the fleece that's doubled up and I trace the pattern leaving about a quarter inch salvage all the way around for sewing. I pin the layers together and I cut out the pattern. Take your pins out and turn them inside out before you begin to sew. Sew around the perimeter, trim it close to the edge, leaving an opening at the base so you can turn it inside out later. Turn it inside out with a pencil or a brush. I want the ears to be bendable and hold their shape, so I'm going to insert some 24 gauge quarter pound wire into the ear. Cut a piece in the shape of the ear and just insert it. Spread it out along the perimeter inside. I pinned the wire up against the inside perimeter. Now I'm going to sew where the pins are, locking the wire around the perimeter. This time I'm sewing on the good side and it's just going to add to the contour of the ear so it's fine that the stitching is visible. And there you have a bendable ear. Now I cut out the inside of the paper template and since we turn the ear inside out I have to use the reverse side as a template for the inner ear which I'm going to cut out of black foam. Your hot glue gun. To glue that on. Press it down. Stay in from the edges so the glue doesn't press out. There you have two ears. Position the ears in place by poking the wire through the sock to get them in position. I sewed the base of the ear onto the sock on the inside and then I'm going to trim those metal wires down so they're not scratching the inside of your hand. Use a big needle so you can go all the way through the fabric and the foam. So here you have it, ears sewn on from the inside. Hello! Bendable. I cut a piece of boa fringe and sewed it by hand across the front and glued in miscellaneous feathers. Hot gluing a piece of foam to the inside top of the head to cushion where the ears are and to give the top a little bit of shape. And for the final touch I glued a piece of foam around the inside of the mouth so that when you operate it the mouth doesn't slip out of your hand. It's cushioned right in there and you still get a lot of play and flexibility in the mouth.